After centuries of strife and misery, the age of the Khans began. It was a time of great struggle when dire circumstances called for radical solutions under ruthless and unwavering leadership. The price was dear, but through the iron rule of the Khans, mankind survived. Having pacified their home world of Alpha Seti, the Terran Khanate now seeks to expand its territories to secure the rightful place of humans in the galaxy until the end of time. Hello, I am Mal and welcome. If you're not familiar with me or my channel, I tend to play a lot of strategy, simulation and role playing games. And it's the strategy genre that brings us to this game today, Master of Orion. Now we're going to be playing in what's called post phase four of the early access. I'm recording this towards the end of May of 2016, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there were some bugs and stability problems in Phase 3, and they, they looked to have been mostly resolved in Phase 4. So we should be able to get through this Let's Play with no problems. At least, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be playing as the Terran Khanite. I have not played uh, as the Khans yet, so I've been interested in doing that. So we're going to move forward with the Terrans. Now let's talk a little bit about their starting traits, because there are some implications uh, from changes made in Phase 4. So let's go through them. First off... Ship cost, that's a good thing across the board, so, you know, that's kind of a push. But then we have beam attack plus 25%. The devs say that range dissipation for energy weapons is in the game now, so the further a target is away, the harder it's going to be uh, to hit with beam weapons, so plus 25% to hit is a pretty big deal. Now, ground units, marines train faster. Um, This is not as good of a bonus as it used to be. Um, simply because it used to be where you built a troop transport and then that would take a marine complement off of the planet and then how fast they trained would then dictate how quickly you could build more troop transports. But they made it where troop transports, according to the dev notes, and I haven't been able to test this part yet, but according to the notes, troop transports no longer take marines from the planet where they're built. So I think that this isn't really going to be that big of a help anymore. Command points plus 20%, that's always good. Um, it allows you to be very aggressive even early on with the Terrans. And then starting technology of engineering, it's also nice, all related to being warlike, which is sort of the makeup of the Terran Khanate. All right, so that's the starting traits. Let's get to it. Now, let's see. We're going to go with uh, small galaxy size because I want to make contact and kind of get into some action quickly. Uh, we do have the new starting age. Pre-warp, post-warp, and advanced. Uh, hmm. I kind of actually like the pre-warp setup where you don't have anything to start off. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do that, and then if it takes me more than an episode to sort of get up and running, I'll maybe skip some turns between, say, episode one and two. Uh, because I don't, you know, a little bit of development, yes, too much of that probably don't want to watch, right? <laughs> We're going to put it on very hard for difficulty, as always. Uh, let's see. Galaxy type. We'll stick with circle. Um, galaxy age. This is all fine. Let's do advanced settings. Research speed, production speed, population growth. Uh, hmm. We could speed up production a little bit for everyone. Yeah, let's do that. We'll speed up production, but we'll leave research. Or we could even slow down research. That would be interesting. So we can produce fast, but we have limited <laughs> we have limited tech. Slow, fast, normal. Yeah, let's try it. Who knows? I'm going to get rid of pirates because they're just annoying. They don't really add a whole lot of value to the game, in my opinion. Monsters I leave in because I think they're cool. And then let's see. Let's, uh, let's go with... The Clacon, the Sakra, and the Mechlar? Question mark? The Darlock? Uh, I like this. <laughs> These are my favorites, that's why. <laughs> okay, we'll go with this. This will work. Good evening, Khan. My name is Emma. All right, let's see what we got here to work with. Not much, since we're pre-warp. Okay, so we can only build, yeah, marine barracks and missile base. I don't care about either of those right now. We're not going to worry about production. 
I'm going to switch to uh, research with one food person until we complete the baseline research. Our Brilliant. Space travel, which gives Starbase, Colony Ship, Space Factory, Frigate, and Scout. So you can see here, if you do pre-warp, you start on this tech. So basically tier zero, and then you get tier one, two, three, and so on. So if you start pre-warp then, I'm curious, what about that engineering? I wonder if you still get that once you've researched up this. Yeah, do we still get engineering? Hmm, we'll see. That's a good test. Use production. Uh, I guess work on a, yeah, I guess work on a barracks, that's fine. A brief interruption. Shush. Turns are quick. <laughs> Our engineers have made a new discovery, my liege. So you don't get... Oh, so you don't get your, your starting tech then. Well, that's... Wow, so the cons are... You got the, you got the Marines training 50% faster, which is really of no benefit, and you don't get your engineering tech if you start off pre-warp. I would think that they would need to adjust that, because then that doesn't make much sense. You're really at a disadvantage playing the cons then. Which is kind of what I wanted to explore. Okay, well, let's see. What we need first is physics. GNN. Galactic News Network. You are tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic <laughs> News Network. I like the these guys. Galaxy's most reputable news source. All right, so here we go. Our engineers await your command, Khan. New technology tree. Um, so here's where you make sort of a first important research decision. So I could continue to go for electronics to get deep scanner. Therefore, as I'm, uh, you know, exploring different systems, I'll automatically see all the planets, which saves you time. Or you can go after something else. You could get research laboratory, which is probably the next thing that you should research because you also get government support facility. Mm. I'm gonna go for it. The production's faster, because we set it up that way. So we're gonna grab that, then we're gonna grab a couple of scouts. That looks good for now. Next population in... In 53 turns. Wow. Really? Okay. Need some hydroponics up in here. A brief interruption. You know what? Let's set to 4 BC a turn, too. There we go. Shush. This is just going to be a gas giant. Excuse yeah. Me. Shush. Pardon the delay. Let's head this way. Now, as soon as we get that tech in 32 turns, oh good lord. <laughs> okay, once we get this other scout, I'll put another person on research. We got here. Oh, large arid. It's poor, but that's not bad in terms of biome. It's pretty good. Oh, anomaly out here. All right. Let's go grab that real quick. Large swamp abundant. That's pretty decent. Okay. 
Arriving at the anomaly. 51 credits. Oh, it's better than nothing, I guess. Large Desert Rich. Okay, so we have our first potential colony planet, I think. Okay, let's do colony ship. Medium arid, ultra rich with gold. Okay, no, actually, there's our first one. <laughs> actually, you know what? That research can wait. Give me my colony ship, please. History is being now. I kind of wish that I uh, hadn't done the um, <laughs> deep sensor because by the time by the time we actually get to it, I think I'm gonna have pretty much all this scouted out. That's always the risk you take, though. Deep scanners are good, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's better to go the other tech trees because you can get two for the for the cost of it, you know. Small ocean abundant artifacts, okay. And it's got a moon, and the other one's got a moon. It's good. All right, so you head down here. Who'd we meet? Oh, the clack on. I am the mouthpiece of the hive. Hi. We are the clack on. We are many. Yeah, you're pretty awesome. I have to admit. <laughs> I love the clack on. We are the hive. We are the many. How long to that colony ship? Five turns. Okay. Do we go this way or down here? Let's go down here. Huge tundra ultra poor. Ugh. I mean, it'd be good to maybe set up as a research world, but it would take forever to get online. Small Terran abundant. That's pretty good. Move towards them. Let's go this way. And you head here. My liege, a moment. Okay, colony ship's done. What do you have there? A scout. Okay, good. So it might be better to grab this one and try to cut this off. Because they'll definitely go for this if they find it. All right, let's go here, and do we have... There it is, Space Factory. Yep, we need one of those. Eighteen more turns for electronics. This is gonna take- this is taking forever. Well, I did want slow research. I definitely got it. Actually, I maybe should take this system. From a strategic perspective, it might be better. And to take this one right here. We'll just see when our colony ship gets over there. Yeah, that tech is just not... <laughs> tech's not gonna be... I'm not gonna get it soon enough for it to be of any value. But again, that was based on the game settings that I chose. Not that it wouldn't be useful. 
it, it would have been otherwise, I think. My liege, a moment. Okay, Space Factory's done. Let's send you over here. And we really can't send population out. No, we can't, because we're... <laughs> this... Oh, this is interesting, because we're... We need more population. Because it takes one when we make the colony ship. Alright, so let's do this. Let's build... Let's build a frigate or two, because we can. And yeah, they'll basically suck, but... It's okay. It's fine, just some basic stuff. Okay, what about our other scout? Okay, you've already got orders. So do you. Excuse me. You have three frigates, but they haven't built a colony ship. That's interesting. Wonder if they already used it? But if they had, I would have some indication of that. Wormhole. Well, let's go scope that out. Just a minute, Con of Cons. Okay, ultra rich. I think I have to take this. Yeah, I am. I'm taking it. This is going to be interesting, so, because the technology is going to be, you know, kind of lagging behind everything else. We're going to have <laughs> these big battles with, like, at least this is what I'm theorizing, that we're going to be having, like, these big battles with low-tech ships. First ship to get, like, heavy armor or whatever is the, is the victor, basically. There we go, we'll do automated factory, and then... After that... Yeah, go ahead and build a missile base, I guess. Since we don't have hydroponics or anything. We'll get that next. Or research lab. Probably research lab, actually. Pardon the delay. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, we'll jump next turn. Which will take us... Down here. Okay, that'll be cool. That's... It's probably too aggressive to go up here. I mean, if we want to block it off, we can, but... We're gonna need quite a few ships to do it. Let's go here first, and kind of try to cut them off here. We can isolate them. The bad thing about doing this, though, is if you isolate like this, if you try to isolate some, an AI, they will go hostile pretty quick. So you gotta be ready to, you know, if you're gonna do it, you gotta be ready to go to war. I'm, I'm not really ready to do that. Interruption. Finally got some growth. I'm gonna leave this guy on food too. This production's not really a problem for us. Go ahead and start building the next colony ship. Okay, and that frigate is also going to go here. You need to build a military outpost right there, please. Welcome to GNN, Galactic oh. News Network. Space Bob Eel. Long range scanners have detected a gigantic space. Space Eel. You are now before the hierarch of the Sacra Brood. Threaten not my progeny, and you and yours may live on. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. Speaking of which, let's look at the diplomacy here. 
see if we can get we embassies without having to pay for it. Listening. Does not have. Oh, we don't have Xeno diplomacy yet. Right. Okay, never mind. Pre warp. Neither one of us has that tech yet. You know what? Build one more frigate for me before we finish that colony ship. Okay. Hmm. Go check out this over here. Oh, that would be a nice system to have. Any with five worlds is really good. I mean, even if the planets suck like this, eventually... Eventually you can make that a nice system. With some infrastructure investment, that is. You know what? Grab me another frigate, actually. The colony can wait. We would have you weave a union with a placon. Share my charts? I uh, no. Thanks. Don't want to do that. Okay, research is finally done. So deep scanner versus electronic computer. I don't see any point in grabbing deep scanner now. Electronic computer plus twenty five beam actually. Let's take that actually. Our engineers have made a new discovery. So now when we select upgrade, it tells us what would happen. So if we do the upgrade. Electronic computer would give us minus two attack by adding that. And if we switch the weapons. Oh, I see. Interesting. But average damage would go up by two. Beam attack would go up. All right, so do that upgrade then. That's cool. I like how that works. Now they didn't spend everything. If we made that all facing. There we go, 65 out of 65. We've got one neutron blaster and four nuclear missiles. Yeah, that works. Our engineers await your command, Khan. Yeah, we need research Excellent. labs. Badly. And then we gotta get hydroponic farms. So there's the space eel. Okay, I'm not, I don't really need to investigate that. Go up here. The Mechlar. Okay. Transmission start. This is the overseer of the Mechlar combine. Contacting unknown naturally occurring life form. Com frequencies locked. <laughs> They're cool. Anomaly out here, huh? Try to get that. Might get there before his scout. Who knows? Yeah, I've got most of this galaxy. That's another thing about the whole deep scanner thing. If I was playing on a larger galaxy size, it would also have more value. So just, you know, something to bear in mind. GNN Galactic News Network. Star about to go supernova. Supernova near a Maclar colony. Wow, they could potentially be taken out of the game because they're not gonna have enough research to get that done. Oh wow, that would suck for them. And research is slowed too. I didn't think about the implications of that. <laughs> being written. Okay, so. Oh, Orion. Okay. That's something else, because I've made research slower. Getting something like Orion would kind of be like a big deal. Let's build a couple of frigates. And then build... 
Uh, Starbase? Yeah, I'm gonna need the command points. That's just gonna be a gas planet. Okay, let's move on. Oh, he already got it. He already got the anomaly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Scumbag. <laughs> anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I Again, I might do a little bit in between episodes, but I like this start. It's interesting. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up in conflict with the Clackon pretty, pretty quick, I would think. The Mechlars are down here. That means this whole side is open for the taking. Hmm. Maybe I'll send a colony ship over there somewhere. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode as the Terran Kanite, and you join me for more. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.